One of the biggest and ugliest issues with owning a home or a condo in Florida is the perfect storm that's been brewing. Florida homeowners have been shocked to discover that their home insurance premiums have skyrocketed to double and even triple those previous rates. And it's not just the rising cost of homeowners insurance. It's the lasting nightmare for those who put in a claim nine months ago and are still fighting to get paid even the lowest amount of settlement money. It is ugly. And this situation is probably going to get even worse over the next few years because homeowners insurance in Florida keeps on skyrocketing. It's the hurricane, the wind, the hail, and the flood insurance that are not even part of the average Florida homeowners policy. These are all extra fees on top of regular homeowners insurance. So if you bought or if you're thinking about buying a home in Florida in the number one ranked hurricane state in the nation, just realize that your insurance is going to cost a lot more and it's probably going to go even higher again this year compared to someone who buys in a less disaster prone area. Now unfortunately this is now spreading to the rest of Florida population who have retired there and are burning through their life savings and getting completely wiped out like this homeowner. Our homeowners insurance went up 96 percent this year and our auto insurance jumped over 50 percent and we've never filed a claim in 22 years here and we've always carried federal flood insurance and we're seriously thinking about pulling out because of insurance rates. So owning a home in Florida, it's changed a lot. Percent of all insurance lawsuits filed, yet the rest of the entire United States makes up only the other 21%. Why is this? Well, last year alone, Florida's hurricane season ended with 14 named tropical systems, including eight hurricanes with three major hurricanes, Ian, Nicole, and Fiona which brought extensive damage throughout the entire state of Florida, not just coastal Florida, all of Florida. Now, this may not be what you want to hear, but it is the truth. Now, this is a warning about how ugly and regularly occurring these events have gotten. And this is really happening, as you can see here with your own eyes. Now, if you have a mortgage on this property, every lender is going to require you to have homeowner's insurance. Why? Well, because the bank wants to make sure they're getting their money and that you're covered in case of a catastrophe. And it's happening. Now, 14 insurance companies have completely pulled out of Florida and seven have gone insolvent or bankrupt. So if there's no other insurer that's, insurer that's willing to issue a policy, Citizens Insurance, which is known as Florida's insurer of last resort, it's typically the Florida homeowner that doesn't turn to Citizens because they wanted to, but it's because they have no other choice. You know, citizens, some say, is better than having no coverage, but if you read the complaints, I'm not so sure about that. Now, if you saw the other video that I did and you read those comments from real homeowners, you might be shocked because it's really happening. Now, this may not be what you want to hear, but it's the truth. I want you to avoid the pitfalls that are costly. You now, if you're thinking about moving to Florida before you make an offer or sign anything to purchase, be sure you get a copy of the insurance quote the homeowner's insurance quote for that exact property address, not just the general vicinity or a general statement. Now, some people have been absolutely shocked to learn the real costs of living in Florida. And some buyers are actually backing out of contracts when they're buying in Florida when they learn the real true cost to own. So if you still don't believe me, look at the comments of what these people have said. The biggest problem with living in Florida is the hurricane insurance with citizens was my only choice and I don't live near the water, but my wind insurance for a 2,200 square foot house is $9,000 a year. And that's not including my homeowner's insurance, which is another $2,500 a year. So that's nearly $1,000 per month for homeowner's insurance. If you have damage from a hurricane, your deductible goes to the percentage of your value of your property. So, wow. I mean, owning a home in Florida, it's changed a lot. But in Florida, step right up. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. So if you read the comments, as I said, in these other videos, people who live in Florida have been commenting saying they've never had a claim and that they've seen insurance skyrocket. So now they're considering alternate areas outside of Florida because of the taxes and the cost of insurance. If you didn't see that video, I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description below. Now just understand, no matter where you live in the nation, homeowners insurance rates will be increasing because many Florida and California insurance carriers need to make up for those losses. Plus on top of that, the cost of the properties, the actual property itself, the replacement cost of that property, the material costs, the labor costs, all of that stuff has been going up 
and it's also pushing the homeowner's insurance rates even higher. So some people in Florida have had damage from a storm and they're really afraid to make a claim. Can you imagine? Because if they're afraid to be dropped or their company is going to raise the premium on them even more. So what's the point of having insurance if you pay big money for it every single month and yet you're afraid to use it? So the question I have for you is, at what dollar amount would you make a claim? Go ahead and put it in the comments, which leads me to self-insurance. To buy insurance, you could self-insure. You just back up the risk with your own money. But of course, the downside is whenever anything happens, it comes directly out of your pocket. For the cleanup, the trash out, you pay. If you need another place to stay while your repairs are being done, you pay. So essentially, you're the insurance company yourself. But as we've seen recently, you could have a total loss of your investment. And then you have to write a check for the demolition of where your house once stood. And then if you rebuild, you have 100% of that coming out of your pocket as well. So that's a double whammy. And many people, just even if they consider themselves to be rich, don't want to take on that much risk, considering the odds that are happening in Florida. Now in Florida, in just one year from 2022 to 2023, the average homeowner's premium increased 20%, and that's the average. And in some cases, it's much more. But why is this really happening? Well, there's five main reasons. Number one, price of homes has gone up. You may have bought your home for, let's say, $350,000 a few years ago, but it's now valued at $700,000. So in the event of a catastrophe, you know, in order to fully rebuild that house, the policy value has to be raised to meet the new replacement cost. Number two, the cost of building materials has gone up and the labor has gone up. Number three, Florida is not all sunny days. The truth, the truth is the odds of catastrophe, catastrophe in Florida is going higher and insurance companies already know that too. Name storms, wild weather, lightning strikes and flooding and the number one state for hurricanes, all raise the costs. Number four, roofing scams. Now, if you've heard this, or if you haven't heard this, the roofing scam works like this. Contractors go knocking at the door, and they're offering to inspect the homeowner's roof for storm damage. Well, they say they can help you because they get a roof replacement covered by your insurance. Well, that, that sounds good, right? They also persuade the homeowner to sign away their rights to file a claim themselves. And obviously, there's a middleman, and there's more markup. Number five, supply and demand. Now look, 14 insurance companies pulled out of Florida and seven have gone bankrupt. So with fewer options, it's just supply and demand. Prices go up. Can you even get coverage for your home? I mean, with many carriers, if your roof is old, you're gonna need to replace that roof to get an insurance company to issue a policy. So let's say your roof has not been replaced in the last 10 years or 15 years. There's a lot of carriers out there that won't renew or even write a new policy or they might require you to also have flood insurance policy. Like if you have that insurer of last resort citizens insurance, you know, a requirement of citizens is you must also purchase the additional flood insurance policy just to have that privilege to be able to purchase a homeowner's insurance policy with them. So it doesn't matter if you're in a flood zone or if you're not, you must pay more for the additional flood policy. But what about that wind and hail coverage? If you get a hurricane, you're not covered if that's not added on there. If you want that added coverage, your homeowner's policy to be covered for the hurricane in Florida, you could be looking at an additional $3,800 just for that portion of the coverage. You know, California also has some serious issues with insurance claims due to wildfires. They had a similar situation in Florida with their insurance costs all going up. So if you have these multiple states that are doing this, all costs going up, guess what happens nationally? So when you're looking at mortgage calculators on third-party sites like Zillow, and they include the insurance and the taxes. I'm gonna tell you something. I have found that they're not very accurate at all. You just want to make sure that you understand the true cost of ownership, not what the internet told me, okay? Now people get mad because it's not what they wanna hear. All right, I get it, but this is the truth. This is what my real estate team in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina does every single day. They show the flood maps and the flood zones to our clients. So they also show the best options to their clients before purchasing. So it's better to know everything that you can rather than walk into a builder model home on your own or to be sold something only later to find out. It's a big money trap and an expensive issue. Do you agree with that? Give me a thumbs up, yes or yes. Okay, now look, insurance costs increasing are not just happening in Florida and we know this. 
nationally they're going up to everywhere. So an example here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, we've seen a slight bump of insurance premiums and this area is still super cheap compared to what's going on in Florida. Now I've got to tell you something that's a little secret. I found a leap, loophole and I personally have saved $1,627 a year on a homeowner's policy in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So if you email me or call my office, I can share that source with you. But just remember, no matter where you live in the nation, rates are going to be increasing. And some of these big insurance companies that were in Florida need to make up for those losses that they've taken. Now, affordability is not an issue for some. I get it. But for others, it's happening. And you know what that is? Money. So everyone needs a place to call home. And these are massive homeowners insurance premiums that are increasing in Florida and they're starting to bankrupt some homeowners. And those sky high policies won't go down for the future buyers either. So it's a Florida problem. We see this happening. If you are making a mortgage payment, just picture this, your homeowners insurance premium and your property taxes are likely to be your largest monthly expense related to the housing costs. You know, unfortunately, these two expenses have gotten ridiculous over the past few years and many new homeowners cannot afford once they start running the real true numbers of what it costs. Yet people every single day are moving to Florida. You know, 319,000 people moved there last year. But at the very same time, people are moving out of Florida to lower cost areas. It's happening. So what's happening where you live is what I wanna know. Are you seeing increases? Has your insurance gone down or has it gone up? Go ahead and put it in the comments and let me know. Now, if you found this video or any part of this video helpful or you agreed or didn't agree with anything, go ahead and put it in the comments. If you subscribed, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.